The U.S. has reached another grim milestone in the pandemic. 750,000 people have died from the coronavirus. That's an additional 50,000 people who have died in just the last month. But there is some good news as more locations are opening for people to get boosters and young children can start getting vaccines in Florida and Georgia tomorrow. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno joins us now. And Lauren, a couple more retailers have announced they're accepting sh appointments, that is, for kids to get vaccinated. Yeah, so yesterday, CVS and Walgreens, their sites, parents were able to make appointments for children 5 to 11. Now, Publix in Duval County is accepting appointments, and that list is only expected to grow. But we learned today why it won't be until tomorrow that children in Florida get their first shot. You may have seen shots go into little arms across the country starting Tuesday night, but that was not the case here in Florida. Many states across the country, like Texas, had pre-purchased doses of Pfizer's children's vaccine and were ready to go when the CDC gave the go-ahead. But when News for Jax asked Governor DeSantis today if Florida had pre-purchased any kids' doses ahead of time... There's no shortage of, of availability of any of that, but it's not something that the state is administering at this point. Florida did not pre-purchase vaccines like many other states, which caused the delay. But still, starting Friday, some public locations will start offering the shots. We found appointments for public locations in Duval County, but could not find any available in other counties around Northeast Florida right now. However, on Saturday, Walgreens, Winn-Dixie, and Harvey's across Florida and Georgia will start administering children's doses. CVS starts on Sunday. Walmart and Sam's Club say it will be available at their pharmacies later this week, although we couldn't find any appointments in our area right now. Agape Community Health Center CEO Mia Jones says they are ready to administer doses at community centers across Jacksonville, but... Right now, we don't have the vaccines for the kids. Of course, we are doing Pfizer for 12 and up, and we will continue to do that. Jones says they are working on getting the special doses for children, and once they do, the shots will be administered at the Lane Wiley Center and Clanzel T. Brown Community Center. However, starting today, those two centers are now offering booster shots of any vaccine to those eligible. Both facilities are open seven days a week providing boosters to the community. The health department is also offering booster shots at the Emmett Reed Community Center and Cuba Hunter Community Center. Those locations are open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And this afternoon, we did learn that Duval County Public Schools will be holding a day of vaccination events for all kids five and up. On Friday, November 12th, the Pfizer vaccine will be offered from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. at First Coast High School, Riverside High, Springfield Middle, and Landmark Middle School. By the way, there is no school on that day. Also, starting on Monday, vaccine.gov will be updated so parents can find their nearest vaccination sites instead of checking each individual site. But again, you can make appointments right here. Mary? Thank you, Lauren. Governor DeSantis also said there will not be any mandates for children to be vaccinated in Florida. The death rate for children from COVID-19 is 0.025, and that is similar to the rate for seasonal flu.